when a com company is going through an insolvency process, which means effectively that it is no longer viable, cannot pay back its debt. Its paper, equity paper is anyways equity supposed goes to be to zero close before, to nothing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Equity goes it's to worth, zero before debt nothing. takes a write-down. So, so yeah. anything from here onwards can only be an upside, I would imagine. Uh, you know, depending on what resolution. Yeah, I think that's what it that. comes down to, right? Who's buying it? How much muscle they have? Financial muscle they have to revive what that? What synergies they can what, bring on the what table? What synergies they yeah, can bring on know, the table? What might all of that? What so. is the cycle in the industry? So I think there are too many yeah, un unanswered too many variables. questions. Right. Uh, okay, we're moving on now to an interesting <laughs> set of eye-opening data, as, the, <laughs> as we've been discussing. Right? I, I sense some sarcasm there. No, no, I don't. I think we've been expecting, we've been talking about how even if the center was able to rein in its fiscal deficit, states might end up exceeding it, etc. And I just thought the data was interesting, right? Yeah, so I think, uh, guys, you know, uh, Credit Suisse put out a report yesterday uh, based on the borrowing numbers for the Jan to March quarter put out by states. Now, the Reserve Bank of India puts out a borrowing calendar for states at the start of the quarter. Uh, and the calendar which got put out earlier Earlier this week had suggested an additional borrowing of 1.26 to 1.38 lakh crore. This is the additional amount that states intend to borrow in the January to March quarter. Uh, they borrowed about 2.77 lakh crore until December, which means that the total gross borrowings for states uh, work out to about 4.1 lakh crore. Uh, now, this was a surprise because the markets were expecting a little bit higher, closer to 4.5 lakh crore. Uh, if you remember earlier in the year, particularly when we had heard all of this about farm loan waivers, etc., uh, you had rating agencies worrying about state borrowings rising, potential for central government borrowings rising, and what that means for the overall supply-demand situation uh, in the bond market. Now, what you have is a scenario which has sort of you know, turned turtle because the central government has come in with much higher additional borrowings than the market had expected, but the state governments have come in uh, with lower borrowing than expected. Now, yesterday after the Credit Suisse report came out, uh, you know, just talking to a couple of people in the bond market traders, uh, you know, they said a couple of things and I'll you know come down to uh, the economic analysis but they said one don't expect a material impact on the bond yields uh, and you didn't see any impact on the central government bond yields yesterday uh, they are understanding this to suggest that states have cut back on capital expenditure and on social spending uh, we have seen reports about certain states having cut back on capital expenditure quite uh, you know significantly and they think that the lower borrowings uh, are a result of that uh, uh, some also point out and in particular the Devendra Pant at India ratings who tracks state finances very closely uh, said that he in any case just like Credit Suisse had not expected the cost of the farm loan waiver to be bunched into one uh, fiscal uh, he said that you know these tend to play out over a couple of fiscals uh, so the expectation that you would see a sudden spike in borrowing uh, was not justified and then there was a third uh, sort of round of conversation doing the rounds in the bond markets entirely speculation buzz uh, and that is that the center may have limited permission for additional borrowings uh, for states states have to go to center if they have to borrow more than that three percent uh, of GDP which is the limit on their fiscal deficit. They typically tend to borrow 2.8 or so uh, through the market. Uh, but if you have to strip uh, that number, if you have to outstrip that number, you have to get central permission. And some people were saying that maybe the center just didn't give them uh, permission. We don't know that for a fact. Uh, but net-net, uh, the state borrowings are lower. Good news may not move the needle for the bond markets. Credit Suisse said that at the midpoint of the state borrowing target, uh, FI state FI-18 state government bond issuance would be about 4.1 lakh crore, up only 8% year-on-year and four basis points low as a percentage of GDP, belying consensus fears of weak state fiscal balances. We believe such fears uh, were overblown to begin with. Uh, they also pointed to the fact that the gap between uh, the GSEC bond deals and the state government bond deals has been narrowing. It had widened earlier in the year when the fear was around state finances uh, to about 80-odd uh, basis points, and that chart tells you it's now about 40-odd basis points. There was an auction on Tuesday and that 40 basis point spread more or less held. Andhra borrowed at about 771, Gujarat at about 775, Kerala also in the same range. Others borrowed in the same range as well. Uh, the net point though is that the borrowing costs have not come down because the underlying GSEC yield has moved up. So the okay. spread has come off uh, but the you know, GSEC yields have moved up so borrowing costs have not really come down. And then the other key takeaway is that while it's great that we've been able to curtail state spending and therefore state deficit, there seems to suggest, at least preliminarily, based on what you've just reported, a, a negative skew in the spend, more towards revenue expenditure and less towards capital expenditure, yes. which is always a disappointing thing to hear about. But at least we've been able to tighten the belt. Yeah, right? sure. I suppose so.